This is a simple login UI. It doesn't do anything yet, but at the end of this episode, it will allow player to register, login, and even reset the password. If this is your first time working with PlayFab, be sure to check out my other video where I guide you how to start your adventure with that great and free service. In my PlayFab manager script, I've created three methods for our buttons. Register button, login button, and reset password button. Let's start with registering our player. Type va request equals new register playfab user request and open brackets. Here we'll need to specify password and email to register with. But before we can do that, we need to add at the top two input fields. Public input field email input and public input field password input. That way we'll be able to get both email and password that user typed in into the fields. Then back to our request, type email equals email input dot text and password equals password input dot text. I'll add one more field, require both username and email sent to false. Thanks to that, we'll be able to register without the need to send username. Finally, time to call PlayFab API. Type PlayFab client API that register PlayFab user and pass in request on register success, which will be our method triggered when user successfully registers and on error. Then of course, create a missing method. Type void on register success, register playfab user result, result, open brackets, and define here what should be done on success. In my case, I'll type message text that text equals registered and logged in. That's correct. When a player registers, PlayFab client automatically logs in so that we can immediately call another request. Okay, time to test it out. Save the script, go back to Unity, and assign both email and password input fields to our script. Run the game, input email, type password1234, and click register. We have an error. When I look at the console, I can see a message saying invalid input parameters. That's because our password needs to have at least six characters. I can check what's going on in the console, but the player sees only this generic error message. Let's fix that. In the onError method, let's change message text to error that error message. That way, it will show invalid parameters text to the player. What's more, we can add a simple check for the number of characters just before running the PlayFab API call. Go to the register method and before creating the request, type if password input that text that length is smaller than six. Then show the message, message text that text equals password to short. And don't forget about the return to stop running this method. Save the script and press play in Unity. Fill out the email with test at test.com password 1234 and press register. This time we get an error about the length of the password so that I know to change the password to one two, three, four, five, six. Click register again and success. Now when I go to the PlayFab dashboard and click the players tab, I can see a new registered player, which has the same email address I've just typed in. Great. Now let's move on to the login button in our script. It will be a very simple request that just sends email and password to the server and gets info if data is correct. Type var request equals login with 
email address request. Open brackets and type email equals email input dot text and password equals password input dot text. Then send request playfab client API dot login with email address and passing request on login success and on error. I have already created on login success method in my previous episode and I'll just add here a message text that text equals logged in. That's it. Go to Unity, run the game and input the same data as before. Test at test.com and one, two, three, four, five, six. Click login and you can immediately see logged in message. Great. The last step will be to code the password reset button. In reset password button method, we'll create a new var request equals new send account recovery email request. Open brackets and define two options. First being the email to reset, type email equals email input text and title ID equals and here type your title ID. If you don't know yours, simply go to your dashboard, click the playfab icon at the top left hand corner and copy those five characters. In my case, it's 70500. Then send a call by typing playfab client API that send account recovery email and pass in request on password reset and on error. As you can see, I've already created the on password reset method and I'll simply add here a message text. That text equals password reset mail sent. That should be it. Go back to Unity and try out our new feature. Type email and click the Reset Password button. Players should see in their inbox email looking something like this with a link to Reset Password. Be sure to check out the first part where I create this UI in Unity UI system in just a few minutes. Also, check out my new Coco Code Discord and subscribe for more PlayFab videos. See you soon!